everyone so this is a new video welcome back to my channel um today we are going to make a certain pillowcase pillow cover with elastic as you've seen the requirements uh what we need we need the fabric the measurements for your pillow the one that you sleep on just get measurements for each like both length and width measure as you can see make sure all the corners have are equal in size make sure all the sides are equal um, yeah so that's what we're going to do today as you can see me that's the pillar I sleep on so I was making an emergency though, though my fabric wasn't really enough and we're in lockdown i can't access any fabric so this but it's going to give you a clear overview of what it will look like so you cut off corners for all for the square cut off squares sorry <laughs> cut cut off the corners in squares make sure it's equal otherwise you'll have excess fabric and uh, as we go along so you can just measure a few inches make sure where you cut meets the corner of the pillow I don't know if you get what I'm saying your corner your corner cut should meet the the corner of the pillow hope i'm making sense the way you see you see how that square is cut out for so mine looks more of a rectangle but in, you'll see that i'll have to trim off the excess um you see where the corner is where where the one side meets the other make sure it it's at the exact corner so you're going to have to have something like that that's the shape you will come up with then i'm going to pin i'm going to attach the sides to create like a like a box like a container kind of so pin the corners where you see me pinning is where I'm going to stitch to attach the corners these pillows are I'm doing a healthy hair series because I'm, I'm pro healthy hair so be it natural relax any kind of form of hair that you have you'll need this to retain moisture the way a silk bonnet basically this has the same benefits a silk bonnet has so in case you find silk bonnets uncomfortable you can try this method it might work for you if you're not the type uh, who likes putting things on your head so yes you have to stitch as you see i have pinned stitch it up stitch up the corners so I'm back after stitching and I'm trying in my pillow to see if it can fit in. I don't like those big pillows because they tend to break my neck. But this one has fiber inside and it's really, really soft. Sometimes I forget I'm sleeping on a pillow. So, yeah. So, as you can see, I have stitched them. Don't forget to do overlock. So if you have ex any excess fabric, please go ahead and cut it off trim the excess because it won't help you in any way um, I was still telling you the benefits of, of having this are the same benefits of having a silk scarf or a satin scarf or a silk bonnet or a satin bonnet yeah helps retain moisture and if you want to, to learn how to make a bonnet refer to my previous video i just posted it last week about how to make a reversible bonnet 
and inside it has satin on top it has ankara fabric yeah so revert to that i'll also link it in the description below so that you can check it out so now i have to make a casing where the elastic will go so the casing uh, depends on how big your elastic is if your elastic is one inch make a casing of like one and a quarter inch or one and a half inch so that it can settle in well now mine is about a quarter inch and the mistake I made with this is I made my elastic slight I think it was like half an inch and mine the, the elastic the casing was like half an inch and the elastic is about a quarter an inch don't forget to leave a gap where you're going to insert your elastic from and then stitch around as you can see so yeah reason as to why it's turning out like that it's on bad but it's not enough fabric and because we're in lockdown i can't really get fabric for you guys but uh, if you want me to redo another video with bigger fabric please let me know so when you're going to measure the elastic first measure around the circumference of the pillowcase measure the circumference and de deduct it by like 10 inches to give the elastic yeah some good use uh, but i ended up reducing it more to about 20 inches because my elastic was not really going through very well because I made a really small casing for it because I had limited fabric as you will see that turn out but um, so because the elastic was not going through at some point I was forced to overstretch it so that's why I had to cut off more excess here I am deducting 10 inches and that's re that's the re like the recommended recommended measurement uh, if I redo another one it's what I will use with a bigger elastic and it will turn out perfect as seen in the thumbnail so if you want to achieve that exact look just you don't have to reduce too much you can go to 10 to 15 inches it will give you the thumbnail kind of pillowcase now this one I overstretched it but we're going to see the results which are actually practical because I'm now sleeping on it it's working it's just not as perfect as I wanted it to be the look but it's on my pillow it's not coming off I am sleeping comfortably so yeah it's all right so yes pass your elastic through using a safety pin remember it was one of our requirements pass it through very well pull it out yeah as seen in the video kind of like how you do a bonnet it's kind of the same procedure so here we are after now i'm going to close up the gap first of all close uh, stitch the elastic together i'm going to cut off that elastic that excess that remained because yeah not all of it went through as i had planned but good thing it's still doing meeting its function so yeah i'm okay with the results since it's not for a client of course for a client it will have to be extremely perfect this is mine so it's okay and live with it then uh yeah i'm going to go back to the machine and stitch so here i am back after uh, stitching the elastic and closing the gap that i had left you can see here yeah, it's kind of like a bonnet just bigger <laughs> and it can fit in a pillow so you fit it in as you can see make sure it sits in comfortably don't mind turned out to be small but it's meeting its function so i'm not complaining and my pillow is small just 
the way I like it. If it was a bigger pillow, definitely a bigger case. So that's how it's going to turn out as seen. And this can be made in a very short time, like 10 minutes and you're done. Voila. Yes, that's how it is. So I'm doing a healthy hair series as seen. Um, I'll be showing you how to make scrunchies. I'll be showing you how to make headbands. I'll be showing you how to make turbans. All those are things that you need for your hair if you're on the journey of growing your hair healthy. I'll be showing you those videos. I'm doing that series. And then we shall go back to the clothes too. But for now, I'm still doing the healthy hair series. And please stay tuned. Please subscribe. Please share to your friends. And leave a comment below. Thank you.